Aries couples. This is Amber with Lives and Sing Row. This is your monthly reading for November 2017. Let's see what love oracle spirit has for you this month. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Now, reconciliation tells me that someone could be coming back from your past or your partner's past. Okay. Could also be a resurgence of a relationship, like you were having problems and now you're making it better. Um, But I feel like one person feels like they're losing their partner and trying to hold on. That's the whole basis of this energy. Okay. That's not it. That's not your card. Yeah, that's because that's it. Okay. Alright, so in the past you have the Three of Cups. That means that there could have been another person. Um, I feel like there was a three-party relationship involved it within this relationship somehow. It could have been at the beginning of your relationship. It could have been while you're in the relationship. There was a third party involved somehow. Okay. And you took a rest from that person or there's a rest from that situation um, or a rest from everything in general to try to figure out where you want to be. Okay. This is more of needing a break from the whole situation. Okay. So I feel like you come back to work on your relationship. So that's where reconciliation comes in. You come back to work on your relationship because you realize where you want to be. I feel like being in this other relationship or dealing with this other situation has taught you more about where you want to be. So this is a time for you to express yourself or for your partner to express themselves to you about what they want for the future of this relationship. It's like if someone comes to you and talks to you about being with you this month, it's real. I feel like it comes from the heart. Okay. They really feel that. But here's the thing about fire energy is that it comes and goes. So they could really feel that way at that moment. That's all that they know. That's all that they feel. They know that it's real, but it could change at any moment. It's not to be nasty. It's just how it is. Okay. So that's just a bit of a warning. Oof, what is going down why do I feel like you haven't been good Aries I get this feeling that you haven't been good, whether it be in the past or now. Okay. So there's, there's the Hierophant again. You actually had that in the intuitive read. Okay. The Hierophant is about being traditional. Um, and this is where you are. It's like you want something that you can hold on to. You want to be married. Um, and you're focused on that right now, I get. Okay. So you're putting an ending to, I feel like you were trying to hold on to yourself or um, 
your own beliefs what it is that you want you were trying to hold on to those okay taking risks being yourself you know um, doing whatever makes you feel good and you're putting an ending to that to focus on either the relationship that you're in or your own morals and beliefs when it comes to relationships like doing what it is that you're supposed to do so you have the four of cups in the middle to me this is about well I feel <laughs> that it is about you not wanting to miss out on your opportunities okay withdrawing from things that are not important okay and seeing the things that are important okay. this could also be that your partner isn't really paying you any attention okay they're focused on so many other things that they don't even see what they have in front of them I feel like you because of that information you have been focusing on yourself what makes you happy doing the things that you want to do focusing on your own happiness okay there may have been a new job um, a new position a new opportunity for love I feel like for some of you someone may have come in to fix that issue okay and you thought it's very interesting because it feels like oh this is an opportunity for me to have something tangible but I don't feel like you wanted to let go of your partner if that makes any sense it was more because you felt abandoned and you felt left alone and that was just an opportunity to feel that spot so you could go back to feeling whole again okay so I feel like um, someone is doing some spying there may be a, a, a Gemini Libra Aquarius I could not get it out okay that's doing some spying paying attention to a situation thinking about what happened to the past I feel like they're getting a little curious um, their wheels are turning in their head okay about what it is that you're doing when you're not paying you're not with them or you're not giving them attention okay because they feel something new they feel something is 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 there and they want to figure out what it is okay what is it that you're happy about what is it that's taking your attention what is it that um, is giving you that encouragement because for some reason they know that it's not them they know that they make you feel abandoned because they are just fixated on whatever it is that they're fixated on okay so they feel like you're doing them wrong which is very interesting because I feel like they're not uh, being very active within the relationship either okay um, but I feel like there is a bit of confusion I feel like there needs to be a whole lot of communication that's what it feels like it feels like because there isn't any communication that it's just crazy okay um, it's all over the place everybody thinks one thing somebody thinks something else somebody's spying because they think otherwise somebody doesn't feel happy it's just all over the place okay and that's because everybody's trapped in their own thoughts and their own positions and what they what what they feel and it's not about the collective or about the relationship as a whole and this is where the problems are lying this is what is happening because no one is paying attention everybody is trapped so there definitely needs to be some healing within this relationship okay everybody needs to pay attention to what's happening there wouldn't be an issue about getting attention elsewhere if if you were discussing your feelings with others okay putting an ending to things it's like somebody needs to take a risk and try to hold on to what they have and put an ending to what is happening okay okay I do feel like there is a third party in here somewhere or there was a third party involved okay and I think that's what this whole knowledge is coming from um, where well, somebody is paying attention because they think that there is a third party okay all right 
So I'm going to end that there. If you would like to see the extended reading, please become a member and you can see not only yours, but everyone else's um, extended readings. If you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. That link will be in the description box below. I love you very much. Love and light.